Ladies and gentlemen, we are now joined by Hampton head coach David Six and student athletes Monje Finney Smith and Ashley Bates. Uh, coach, first an opening statement. Um, tough game. Um, obviously, uh, you want to win, uh, come out on it. But um, I'm proud of my kids. They gave everything they had on the floor. Um, you know, they left us for dead, and, and, and we came back. We standing in the overtime, and you know, a couple plays. Uh, here and there go our way, we might, it might have been different, but take your hat off to North Carolina a &T. Uh, they, they fought valiantly and, and they came out on a uh, winning day. Questions? I thought so. Um, you know, uh, uh, you know. Obviously, we got down, but uh, these ladies fought back. Um, and it, as I said, a couple of plays here and there, you know, could have went either way, and and they didn't. They fell that way, and and uh, they were able to push out. You know, Sales catches that ball. She been catching them all year. Catch that ball, she lays that ball in, we might be in double overtime. You never know. Four, four, <coughs> uh, you guys came here knowing this is the last basketball game. What's your, how, how do you react now? So close to going out of the top. Well, it's not a lot of people. How does that happen? I don't know about them, but I'm going out on top. I've been, I've been in seven championship games in nine years. I, I, it, look, I would like to have all of them. It wasn't God's will today. But I'm, I'm not going to walk out of here with my head down. And they not even. Can you repeat the question? Yes. Uh, you guys came here knowing it's the last time you're going to play when you do that. Your reaction to what to now? Now that it's over. Um, I feel like it's better to come close to the championship than not have been here at all. Um, just being a third seed, you know, many people didn't think we would come this far, but for us to make it to the championship, that's that's more than enough. Leaving the uh, me at. <coughs> Yeah, we made it this far. We did good. Um, we fell short, but that doesn't change the team we have. Whether or not we're in a MIAC, it doesn't matter. We can't do anything but push forward and get better as a. Um, they're a good team. Uh, that day, they did, you know, we played better that day. They played better than day. Um, we played a lot more zone in uh, that game. Uh, <clears throat> but as we got to the uh, tournament, we went back to man to man. We tried to play zone, but we hadn't done it in, in a few games. So we, it, we were just off a little bit with our zone. You know, it wasn't working for us. And then he might have been ready this time. I don't know. But, uh, um, you know, Intensity, both games, uh, you know, uh, the game at uh, their place was a lot closer than the score, so. You ran into the college. It happened, man. You know, uh, officials feel like that's the foul. So, you know, it really ain't nothing really you can do about it. We did run into the foul. We just got to take the next lady up mentality, so that's kind of what we did. Um, you've made a lot of turnovers. Oh, yeah, we didn't, they didn't shoot very well. No, um, I don't think we were, uh, were rebounding the ball as well as uh, we needed to. And I thought that was why we didn't have to lead. I mean, a bigger lead. We, you know, you got to be up and rebound. You got they get uh, second shots. They had the same amount of shots we did in the first half. And so, 
you know, they, they were getting some second shots, and, and I thought that that hurt us. Third quarter. Uh, <coughs> well, we were wild by the wheels on that. We came out pretty strong. What did change up the defense a little bit? Change up some defenses a little bit? Mm, uh, you got to credit them. They turned us over. Uh, we made some uncharacteristic turnovers. We generally don't turn the ball over as well as they, you know, they pressured us. Um, you know, we, we may, have, may have run out of some gas uh, in the third quarter, but again, uh, we forced the overtime. Uh, you know, that's all I can ask my kids. They, they fought, they didn't lay down, you know, so I'm proud of them. You know, in my, in my book, we don't walk out of here with the trophy, but. You know, we champions anyway. You know, you always do well in this tournament, whether you're a one seed or a two or three seed. Has it changed mentality at going into the tournament? I mean, I guess what, what's the key to you get to the title no matter what seed you're um, I just think that, that um, the ladies buy into what we're telling them. And, uh, you know, we spend the week uh, getting ready. Uh, we try to play it loose so we don't have uh, people tired. I mean, uh, tight, you know, before the games. And, and uh, uh, they just come out and, and, and we play hard. I mean, that was a hard fought game. And, and so uh, we play hard generally all the time. So, I mean, if, if we are going to lose, you got to beat us. You know, and, and, and you saw that today. We, you know, everybody thought it was over. We sent it to overtime. To get to, you, you played back to back co champions. Friday night, team, right? It's not doing things hard. We're a champion, too. So, I mean, it, you know, if you want to be the best, you got to play the best. You know, I don't want to sound like, like I'm cocky or anything like that because I'm not. I respect every team and every school that's in the mid. But we've done some great things. We, we've had a good run here. And and so my thing is, did I want to win today? Absolutely. I want to win for them, not for me, for them. And and I'm, I feel bad for them, but at the same time, I know they can walk out of here with their head up because we, we, we played a good game. All right. Thank you for your time. Congratulations on a great season.